Hi, my name is Lily, and yes, I'm a pug. Today, I'm going to show you some tricks to remember math terms. Greater than and less than symbols are a way to show which number is larger or which number is smaller. See the big shark's mouth with lots of teeth? The mouth is a greater than or less than symbol. Sharks have big appetites and will always try to gobble up the largest number first. After all, why would he go for the number three when he can eat a number eight? Remember, when you see the greater than and less than symbols, think of the shark's mouth eating the largest number. The word decade is a period of 10 years. For example, can you believe Grandpa Doug is a decade old? The trick to remember that decade means 10. Think the highest number in a deck of cards is 10. So when you hear the word decade, think of the deck of cards. What is the highest number? The word century means a period of 100 years. The trick to remember that century means 100. Think there are 100 cents in a dollar. So when you hear the word century, think of how many cents are in a dollar. A horizontal line is a line that goes left to right across the page, kind of like east to west. The horizon is where the sky and the land meet. The sun sets in the horizon, or horizontal, which is a level line across the sky. When you hear horizontal, think of where the sky and the land meet to make a level line on the horizon. A vertical line is a straight line that goes up and down, kind of like north to south. An icicle forms a vertical line up and down. Those icicles are cold. Ver, as in vertical. When you hear vertical, think of how icicles are up and down and are very cold. Ver. The word sum means that you will need to use addition to find the answer. For example, Find the sum of the numbers 12 and 10. To find the sum, you will need to add 12 and 10 together. Here is a trick to remember the word sum. A chef creates delicious food by adding many things together. He adds some of this and some of that. Remember, when you hear the word sum, think of the chef adding some of this and some of that. Some means you need to add. The word difference means that you will need to use subtraction to solve the problem. For example, find the difference between 40 and 10. This means you will need to subtract 10 from 40 to get the correct answer. Remember, when you hear the word difference, Think, take away, or subtract. The toys that were different had to be taken away. When you see difference, you know you'll need to subtract. Well, that's all the memory tricks I have for today. You can practice mastering these terms with my printable math terms workbook. Just click on the link in the description.